The School Mental Health Summit was actually our third gathering of statewide stakeholders interested in youth mental health through the schools. The summit is really important because it's a format where you can really have not just a one-way series of presentations, but really a dialogue for some key stakeholders. And really it was a high level but very creative dialogue in solving some of the problems about resources and also just getting uh, people that can quickly access uh, some services for their students. In listening to our schools and listening to uh, uh, the people that are coming in, our presenters, and, uh, and looking at our survey, um, we're just, uh, I think schools are coming back and saying that they're, they're seeing an increased number of disruptive behaviors in the classroom, uh, an increase in our uh, teachers of not knowing what to do specifically to help out these kiddos, and also with our families. Some of our families are coming to the schools to say we need help. Um, and so I think, I think those challenges are increasing. I think the intensity of the behaviors that we're seeing with kids are increasing. And um, some of our teachers just don't feel uh, well enough equipped to handle the kind of issues that they're facing. So they just would like more help. Our major challenges would be access to programs and access to practitioners. We just don't have those people in our areas. And I think the main challenges of mental health issues across districts in the state are a clear understanding of what mental and emotional health issues are. So I think we need to identify resources. We have to have some type of, of, of a mapping, resource map to where we can have resources to go to, to, to tap into those to help us in our districts with those students. I was wanting to make sure that um, everyone else here had an understanding of the struggles and challenges we have in rural Nebraska, how they're different than the other parts of Nebraska. And what I realized after being here is that the challenges aren't really different, they're just on a smaller scale. The biggest thing is we're all pretty much on the same page. I'm in the eastern part of the state and in the metro area, but there are still those of us who are struggling with the same types of things that the western schools are. So a lot of us are all in the same boat. I think today's discussion really did a great job of highlighting some of the strengths that we have as a state um, around school mental health, but also some of the gaps that still exist. It just really identified some key, key issues for us that we can target our efforts a little more closely. Um, and I think it just provides a platform for us to move forward from. So in order to make some change in terms of school mental health in Nebraska, probably the best suggestion I can make is to start small and to monitor progress and to really start slowly so that you can encourage buy-in across all of your stakeholder groups. So we talked today about small tests of change and really following kind of a quality improvement model rather than moving forward with really large changes which can, if not directed the right way, can lead to Kind of disaster uh, and so we want to start small and work collectively get buy-in by moving somewhat slowly being a part of the summit today really has um, uh, validated for me that our partners in education are equally committed to making uh, some of those goals realized for youth and, and children with behavioral health conditions. We all have equal partnership opportunities um, and equal responsibilities to make sure that youth and families are getting the services they need when they need them. So the summit hosted today by Nebraska leadership was fantastic in terms of driving forward not only the momentum but also some actionable steps to actually advance school mental mental health in the state. So the fact that we were able to bring all of these communities together and stakeholders together to drive forward that mission is enormous. It's a real success.